CMC Network here at CES 2022, and we're in the XPG booth or room, more like mm -hmm. here with Talia here, and we have some new products yes, we from do. XPG, which is very exciting because you know there's a lot of new technologies that have come mm -hmm. out recently, and finding some of these technologies has been difficult. So to start off, we have some memory and some storage here. Yes, we do. What do we What do we have behind us here? All right. So over here, starting from our left, we have the Atom 50. So that's our XPG product. It's a PCIe uh, Gen 4. And this runs, this is actually compatible with the PS5. Okay. So if you're looking for room or like memory to store more games, you can easily fit it in. And it runs at 61 millibytes or megabytes. Sorry. And yeah, and uh, from there we have Project Blackbird, which is our um, a special drive. <laughs> yes, a very special drive. So it's our, our PCIe Gen 5 uh, SSD, and this is actually an Ogrit controller, and it also has a read-write speed of up to 14 gigabytes and 10 gigabytes. Okay. Yeah, uh, it, it's actually encrypted, so you could do that. That's what makes it special. Exactly. <laughs> it actually compared, offers encryption. Yeah, because uh, versus that, we had the Project Nighthawk, which doesn't have that, but it is still PCIe Gen 5, but the controller is silicon motion. And this one has a rewrite speed of 14 gigabytes to, fit to 12, and both of these actually have capacities up to 8 terabytes. See, that's amazing. So you get a lot of capacity and so much speed now from these drives. Yeah. It's getting better. Of course, and affordability is, uh, <laughs> affordability is still trying to catch up. But yeah. Like, what's the, the, these are, I believe this one's on the market, right? Yes. These two aren't yet. Not yet. Correct? Yes. Yes. And I believe Blackbird should be a data. So, because this one's going to be more a data under that brand, and then the other one's going to be XPG brand. Exactly, more tuned for gaming, mm -hmm. and, and the other for serious. And yes. uh, then you have an external SSD here. Now, what's really unique about this is it's USB four. Yes, uh, so we don't it is see a USB lot of USB four just yet. So it's nice to finally mm -hmm. start seeing some of this stuff enter the market. Yeah. So when they told me about that, I was like, wait, USB four? I haven't heard that before. <laughs> yeah. What's fun about this one too is uh, so this is the a day the Elite SE nine hundred and twenty. And it's an external SSD with a built-in fan. And this is actually a metal casing, too. It's perfect. So it's spreading mm -hmm. the heat to the casing. And, I, and he had shown that this thing actually moves open and closed to yeah. reveal the fan when it's mm -hmm. in use, which is nice. And, uh, and it gives you up to 40 gigabytes per second. Yes. That's fast. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> so it, it, just, <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Mm -hmm. So in addition to that, uh, you have, now this is what really everybody's going to be interested. I mean, actually, Everybody's gonna be interested in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just new, 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 and this is the stuff nobody can find right now. Yeah, exactly. It's people have been asking about it, and we just been showing it here and there, but this is the first time we're actually displaying it here. So this is our uh, DDR5 RAM. We have the Lancer and we have the Caster. So these are both come in RGB and non-RGB for those that don't really want, you know, the bright lights. Right. Uh, for the Lancer, it comes with, uh, it can run up to 6,000 megahertz, and then the caster comes up to 7,000 megahertz. Uh, and they both are really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're very nice. Uh, DDR5. Mm -hmm, DDR5. Impossible to find right now. Mm -hmm. So what's the availability, like, is, are these two models on the market right now? Or are they coming soon? They're coming soon. Okay. Uh, for what I know, that we'll be able to supply it, I guess, this year. Okay. Uh, just because, you know, we're now in 2022, so these will be available this year. I'm, I'm guessing that XPG is, is uh, expecting to ramp up inventory to get ready yeah, for that crazy that's, amount of rush that's going to be mm -hmm. coming at you all at once there. Yeah, that's why it's taking a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It's nice to see that more DDR5 finally moving out into the market to help supply yeah. some of that demand. Mm -hmm. Now, on top of this, you see you got M.2, you got your USB 4 drive here, you got DDR5, this is incredibly exciting, but you have even more on top of that. You also have some new all-in-ones, yeah. uh, some liquid cooling to support the demand for the new Alder Lake chips. Yeah. You know, because there's been some issues across that with some of the, the older uh, units not exactly fully covering the chip and spreading heat mm -hmm. properly. You know, you get some uh, issues with the beating underneath with, the, with your thermal paste and everything because of that, because the adapters aren't performing. So, of course, one of the best solutions is to buy one that's designed for that chip and you yep. have some new models here that support that yeah we do it's they're really nice and now we have a new one which is the xpg um, levante pro and that one actually has a led screen Ooh. that is customizable um, you could either put uh, gifs or jpegs 
We also have like a stats screen, so you can see how your stats are doing, like how if too hot, things like that. Okay. And then we also have fans that come with it that are non-RGB, and they're Vento fans. Uh, but besides that, uh, the cooler itself is really, the fans themselves are very quiet. So you don't even hear them. You could like, you only like feel the wind coming through, but that's about it. That's incredibly important. That comes mm -hmm. the whole point with some of these newer systems. You don't want to be distracted by this, especially since everything's LED now. You want the mm -hmm. system to be somewhere where you can see it, not hiding underneath the desk covered by your dirty laundry. Exactly. Like, God, make this noise <laughs> go away. You know, so it's nice to have that perfectly quiet system. So mm -hmm. what's the release time on those? The release time? Are they available now? Are they really available? They're not available just yet. That's what I figured. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, uh, I remember hearing about that uh, recently, and they weren't. I don't believe they're ready to launch this yet. So, yeah. but they are obviously this year. Hopefully soon. Yeah. So hope, most of the things here should be out by this year. Okay. I read the very start of it. So hopefully by we get to the end, it'll all be out already. Right, so. We need more coolers for older lamps. So. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so for price points and stuff like that, I'm guessing then the, that information is not available just yes, yet. Yes, not yet. Okay. And mm -hmm. some of that does that apply to these as well still? Oh yeah. I, I believe the last time I, I'm pretty sure we spoke directly with Ada about the the Blackbird and the Nighthawk, and I think at the mm -hmm. time uh, it was TBD as well. Yes. So Okay. Cool. Now, to end things off, mm -hmm. uh, this is something unique. You know, some things work really well, well paired together, some things don't, some things are weird. And then some things just seem weird because nobody really thought about it. Mm -hmm. But you have a mouse that does more than just game. You know, <laughs> there's something else that's hidden inside that mouse yes, to make it is. different from all the rest. Let's go take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, so what we're looking at here is interesting that's all i can say because when he first explained it to us we were speaking to everyone before this and when he when he kind of described it i kind of took a second <laughs> to think about it. i'm like did i just understand this right this mm -hmm. is a mouse yes. with a built-in ssd yes that's different right that's cool yeah you and it I would inspect it you know like how do you make that pairing like how does it make sense right so again this has a ssd built in so it can come with 512 or one terabyte and what's nice about it is that if you like to take games on the road, like going to a LAN party, or you know, you just want to play games somewhere else, you could have it in the SSD, take the game mouse with you, and then you can actually launch it from the mouse versus yeah. having to move it onto the computer. So. See, that's fascinating. You can almost even use it as USB-based uh, operating system too, because you can boot to the mouse, which is yeah. a term I've never used in my life, to boot to your mouse right. when you take it somewhere. So that's kind of cool. So, mm -hmm. and, and what's nice is that, like I was speaking with him, I told him, I said, something like this can be wrecked really quickly by being a gimmick item. Yes. You know, because if you say, yeah, but how much space is on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, 64 gigs, 32 gigs. Well, that's kind of the gimmick. But this is actually a full 512 or one yeah. terabyte. You know, mm -hmm. so now we know this is a serious gaming device. Yeah. You know, there was nothing, no corners cut on this. And it has potential to grow from there into something better as new models come out and everything like that. But um, it's, does it have our, uh, any kind of LEDs or anything? Yeah, so it does have RGB. We have it here on the lettering right here, and I believe on the sides as well. Um, I can't plug it in yet. So. <laughs> yeah, totally, but, but it's USB-C yes, on top of that, of mm -hmm. course. You're going to need that for just the data capacity or the, just the speed, the transfer speed. Exactly. What are the transfer speeds like on this? So the transfer speeds are up to, um, so, ooh, let me see, um, 985 megabytes. Okay. So it's very fast. For something that's so small, it's only relying on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's decided to see and introduce this just because, again, it's not heard of. It's not a common combination of things to put together. But for it to be on the go, as everyone is right now, is like we're all going to be traveling a lot more, hopefully soon. And just be nice to just bring your game along and not have to worry about, oh, I have to carry all this extra stuff. So. Absolutely. It's kind of cool. It's mm -hmm. different. It's just one of those things where you just like, it's so weird, but at the same time, why not? Right, <laughs> it makes yeah. sense, sure. Yeah, and it's not just for gamers, you know, content creators, you know, YouTube videos or just video content, all that stuff is heavy. Yeah. And that's a lot of things to carry. So that will also help too. Yeah, and, it, and both of those individuals aren't going to be using a trackpad and they're mm -hmm. going to be using a mouse. So yeah. why not? If you're going to carry both items, put them in one. So that's cool. So what's the availability of something like this one? Uh, this is not coming out just yet. Okay. So it's going to be a while as, you know, uh, we make more like you know we have new SSDs coming out, so obviously we're gonna try to make the best one for this to work. And 
we'll see when that comes out. So, so. it's TBD for now, mm-hmm. TBD. So that means price points TBD as well. So yeah. that, that, that makes sense. It'll be interesting to, to learn more about this later on when it does start to roll out. So we'll definitely want to stay in touch and hear about this later on. Uh, so this is exciting. Uh, everything else is exciting. The all-in-one cooler, the M.2 hard drives, uh, uh, not really hard drive, it's just drives, yeah. you know, solid state <laughs> drives, uh, the external drive, the USB 4, it's so nice to finally see that. And of course, more DDR5 entering the market is always mm-hmm. fantastic. So kicking <laughs> off 2022 already with a bang. So it's already sounding mm-hmm. better than 2021. Everybody wanted oh, yeah. it to be a better year. So, mm-hmm. so far we're sounding pretty good. Well, thank you so much, Delia. This yeah, has been exciting. And again, stay in touch. We'll stay in touch with you. And I yeah. thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a good one. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.